Blackpool were chasing promotion to the first. Preston Hugh McElmoy was to play an unusual role in trying to stop them. The Red Rose derby was close to the heart of Blackpool centre forward, Vicky Burns. Bob Stoko had assembled the Blackpool team before going on to manage Sunderland to the cup final. They had the midfield skills of Sudik and Ainsco, complemented by big Billy Rafferty. Preston blooded six players under the age of 21, and Burns was to add to their relegation problems. We'll kick off. Thought they were really going to show us a 4 4 2 lineup, but in fact, uh, young Alex Bruce has broken in the number six shirt here to make a third forward, and in fact, it's all now beginning to take a bit of shape. But Blackpool in the darker shirts, in fact, their orange or tangerine strip with white shorts, and Preston in white and black. Number eight here is Suddick. Aimed for Dyson, but didn't find him. And the whistle has gone for a foul and a free kick to Preston. Aimed for Holden's head, but didn't find him. Michael Moyles cross. Well meant, and it was possible that Lamb or Holden might have run in on it. To Dyson. Tackle with feet in the air, which Mr. Capey didn't approve of. Suddick. Bursting in to take advantage of the gap and a good shot to it's come out and it's the first goal scored by Rafferty. Disaster for Alan Kelly who had it covered but couldn't hold it but credit Suddick for the power of the shot and Kelly still down on his face. See now how well Suddick makes use of this big gap. Bursts inside, hits it very strongly with his left foot and Rafferty is there to pick up the rebound and Kelly still down with his teammates around having a look at him. Four must have spun up and hit him in the face, I think. Or maybe he got a knock on the head as the bodies came in to stick the ball in. Yes, and it's going to be Hugh McElmoyle who's taking over in goal. Not the first time he's done it. So that's the situation then. Off goes poor Alan Kelly. In goal, Hugh McElmoyle. Bruce again. Dispossessed by Suddick. And through goes Rafferty. And McElmoyle didn't really have a chance to come out. Did well to cover that. Did well to get down and smother that. He thought at first that he ought to have come for it. And then changed his mind and went back. one by Alcott Dyson to Burns this is promising for Blackpool and it's a goal and the blame there for Preston belonged with some fiddling on the edge of the penalty area rather than with the stand-in goalkeeper they were just not winning the ball in this situation Dyson's pass was a good one and Burns shot was absolutely inch perfect Hawkins off the top of his head and it's almost in the net. Has it gone in? Yes, it has. But I think the referee may have spotted an infringement. It's no goal. Lynn James had, had managed to stick out a toe and get it into the net. But in the scrimmage, there had been an infringement. And so it's a free kick. Lamb, Dyson for Blackpool, Alcock to Benton. out of play by McMahon Dyson Bird clears Sadik and back off Ross Dyson bounced off Snooks Bruce
Bentley with a big, big gap in front of him and plenty of men in the middle. Wanted to do it all himself and that was very silly. The opportunity went to his head. Made all that progress down the left, but he had plenty of men that it would have been worth trying to put it back to. Sort of thing that often happens when you get a substitute in goal. Everybody begins to think they must test the goalkeeper. And they get too hasty. There's McMahon's header. Alcock, Bird and Alcock again. Bentley. This time playing the cross. Rafferty to Burns. That was a good shot. It came off the bar. I think he may have even got his fingertips to that shot. And Rafferty coming behind this. Burns and again a good save by Battleboyle. Had come right out of his goal and knew he had to win it. And did so well at the expense of a corner. Burns to take the one from the right. And wastes it. Good header by Sotheby. Bird. Sotheby again. Lamb. Sudderby. Rafferty a good header. Suddick going through the gap. Suddick against the post and off the other side eventually. This is the incident and there there was certainly a pull by Dyson and that held back Hawkins but as it happened justice was done. And no offside now. Play on says the referee and a good header by McElmoyle. Not for nothing has this man scored 151 goals and a good few of them with his head. And that, says Mr. Capey, is that and another grievous disappointment for Preston who are beginning to look as though they may need one or two of the other clubs to do them a favour. Maybe Huddersfield or Cardiff. But this long run goes on, 21 games now, with only one victory. And today, Hugh McElmoyle, their hero, but not able to prevent them from going to defeat. Final scoreline here then, Blackpool 2, Preston 0.